Hey everybody, this is Everyday Commentary. We're going to get ready for a Sweet Stuff Saturday. There's the stuff that came in today. But uh, worked on clearing out this. I don't know what's going to go here. I had originally put on, planned on putting um, some like she could storage there, but that's a nice big space. Um, over here, still working on the uh, frame for the uh, um, jewelry, jewelry box for Christmas. My hope is to get the frame done this week. And then... Uh, not much else on the bench, literally. Like, we cleared out a bunch of stuff. Did a bunch of yard work this week. So, let's talk a little bit about what came in for uh, review this week. Uh, we had a couple of things that come in for review. So, the first one is this. This is the uh, Focusworks F2. This is a 14500 flashlight. In other words, it runs on um, the lithium-ion flashlights that are the size of a double a it is not a dual fuel light meaning you cannot run this light with regular double a's uh, it is exceptionally bright and it is very very simple this is one of the simpler lights on the market today it is also pretty tall as you can see there's a lot of stuff going on in here this is a really deep optic it is an optic and not a reflector and it has a clicky. And one of the cool things about the clicky in this light is, as you can see, the clicky is recessed quite a bit. So this light easily, easily tail stands. It's one of the better tail standing lights I have out there. Or I have, even though it is so large. Um, the light is pretty thin. It fits in your pocket quite nicely, even though it is a little bit longer than the normal lights I carry. But that thing just will not wobble at all. It's got a great, great clicky. As you can see, it's recessed a little bit, but the, the rim around here is nicely machined. So you can, you can, if you have your finger like this, like where you're reaching it, yeah, you can just barely hit it. It's almost impossible to click it into place that way. So it gives you a really nice temporary on, but if you need to, you can hit it and it stays on. Um, the high is pretty high. The low is not terribly low. This is not one of those uh, really low lights. The thing that I like about the light though, is it is dead simple on, off, and three modes. That's it. No like hidden modes, no strobe, none of that baloney. Really, really, really simple. So the, uh, um, oh, by the way, this one's in aluminum. I, I'm normally, you know, most lights typically that are custom typically only come in a titanium, but I really feel like aluminum is the better choice. I've had my aluminum um, Boss 35 for five years now, and it's fine. It's held up really nicely. And it's lighter and it's cheaper. And I think it actually conducts electricity better. So I like this light a lot. I think this is a really nice light. The clip is cool and it's super simple, but the aluminum makes it just feel so much lighter. Uh, the other uh, knife that came in, and I forget the name of this knife. This knife is from uh, Vostig Cutlery and it is um, a really, really nice uh, budget knife. It has uh, not too fuzzy micarta. As you can see, it has inlays. I think it's called the raccoon. Yes. Yeah, it's right there. The raccoon. And it has a uh, 14C28N blade steel, and it's a button lock. Um, as you know, with the, the pyrite, the CJRB pyrite, that has been one of my favorite knives, and it is also a budget, budget button lock, and they've done these bucket, budget button locks really well. This knife has a really unusual blade shape. As you can see, it uh, kind of reminds me of the Skyline. Like, if they made the Skyline today, this is what it would look like. I've been using the knife. Uh, and it has a really cool little hidden finger coil. It also gives you the ability to sharpen all the way to the edge. Dead solid lockup, up and down, no blade play. Deploys like it's on glass. Really good knife. Nice deep carry over the pocket top, uh, over the top pocket clip. It does kind of hang out a little bit. One thing that I'll tell you, this thing is really low profile. So you're not going to have very many hot spots at all. But because of this little uh, uh, swept up tip, the little mouth to the clip, it still works fine. It's a very, very nice pocket clip. And the knife overall is a pretty nice knife. Uh, unusual blade shape, unusual handle shape, but all of it works. You can get a good full four finger grip, or if you want to choke up and use a troll, you can do that as well. Uh, so this is the Vostid Raccoon uh, in for review. This light is the much vaunted CWF Charles Wiggin flashlights um, Micro Arc Arcadian. 
I had owned this light for a while and it just stopped working. I sent it back to Charles. He sent it to me. He did the warranty. And man, is this a good light. So you can set like that's the low, that's the medium, and that's the high. You can set it in a bunch of different dry, uh, modes. It runs the H17 driver, which is a custom driver for this light. You can do a ton of different stuff with this. But the real thing is, this is a full performance, ultra compact, double or triple A size flashlight with a clicky. So if you're looking for, I mean, I don't want to sound crazy, but like this is one of those lights that makes me kind of want to get rid of all my other lights because this thing is so simple and so easy to use and so compact. It's just hard to imagine being like, yeah, I want something else. This is a really good light. Um, I don't know what happened the first time around, but I kind of give everybody one pass. And then, you know, if it still stinks, that's a problem. But um, great, great little complex light. And I've been carrying it. In fact, this is my carry for today. I've been carrying it with the Sebenza. Mm, these two are like perfect. These, This is definitely like the Sebenza of flashlights. And this is obviously the Sebenza of knives because it's the Sebenza. But... Really great little flashlight, great little carry. One thing I wish it could do, I wish it was better at tail standing. Kind of, as you can see, kind of leans to the side a little bit. And that's because the clicky um, protrudes ever so slightly. So you can see it there. Protrudes ever so slightly from the uh, back of the body. Really great light. Really, really, really great light. Love the light. I'll leave it on. Let's see if it comes in. Ah! It does not have mode memory, but really good light. Love the flashlight. Um, that's all that came in for uh, this week. And I did a lot of work around the house, kind of cleaning things up. So, and I was super busy at work. So that was about it. But um, hopefully next week we'll have uh, a specific topic to talk about instead of just new stuff that came in for review.